Never before have I ever seen a nap be at the center of a controversy. But today, we're here thanks to the greening of Detroit, a nonprofit environmental group taking a group of teens on an educational field trip to a courthouse. And while there, you had Judge Kenneth King talking to them, and at that point, a 16-year-old girl apparently fell asleep twice. And so, you know, with that, you had King's response being, uh, well, naturally, to threaten to throw her in jail. You fall asleep in my courtroom one more time and put you in the back, understood? You don't care now. As soon as we bring the prisoner out, she can step back there. But then instead of actually putting her behind bars, he made her change into jail clothes and put her into handcuffs, with them then continuing to argue over what he perceived as her giving him attitude. You sleep at home in your bed, not in court. And I, quite frankly, I don't like your attitude. I'm thinking maybe she needs to go to the juvenile detention facility. You do understand we have a jail for kids. Now with this, King told Channel 7 that he just meant to teach her and the other kids a lesson so they wouldn't end up back in his courtroom for the wrong reasons later in life. Was I really going to do that? Probably not. Could I have? Probably so. But that's not what I want to do to a kid who's there on a field trip. So that was my own version of scared straight. But of course, on the other side of this, you had the nonprofit group that brought these kids there, saying the girl was traumatized by the experience and the chairperson writing. Although the judge was trying to teach a lesson of respect, his methods were unacceptable. The group of students should have been simply asked to leave the courtroom if he thought they were disrespectful. And then on top of this, you also had this kid's mom telling the outlet her daughter was tired because they don't have a permanent home. To make her even feel more worse about our situation, I'm a single mother. I'm trying my best. I'm doing everything that I can. So the fact that he was talking about you go home and get in your bed, how do you know my baby got a home? How do you know my baby got a bed, her own bed that she can sleep in? She don't have that right now. <laughs> So she was hired. And so then after all that, uh, Judge King had the balls to offer to mentor the girl, with the family then replying that they are not interested. 